What is up, people of the internet? This is Real Live Ginger, and I am back with you, not quite where we left off, because I wandered around for about 10 15 minutes and finally figured out where I was supposed to be. And it was right back in the church. Um, I reloaded save, came back here because I had accidentally found what I was supposed to do and, you know, things of that sort. We were supposed to talk to this guy. <laughs> right here. Who are you people? Do you realize that you are talking to Librarian Oot? No, sorry. So, what do you want? Have you interrupted my ceremony for no reason? I do not like stubborn old guys because I want to be an adorable old guy. Did you say something? Please wait, we were told by Bishop Dill that there is a wonderful library here. If you want, you can just go to the library. Oh wait, I locked the door when I left. So could you open the door? I would love the opportunity to touch such treasures of intelligence. Alright, stop looking at me like that. I appreciate it. I'll let you in now. He's such a haughty old guy. Don't say that. We have to do what we can until Lloyd shows up. That's true. He used a, dragoon, a dragon and a dragoon in Sergio, and in Tiberoa he obtained the cooperation of a wingly. We don't know what he will do here. And so now we get to go to the library. Going to the library! What do I want to do with my vacation? I want to go to the library! Yes. But are we going to find a giant owl there that's going to try and kill everybody? Nope. We're all good. This is incredible! This is the knowledge source of Endiness. Go look for anything you want. The entire wall is filled with books. There's even an attic. Maybe we can find out something about virages and the moon that never sets. Doesn't looking at thing these things all the time have an effect on you? It made me wise. Congo feels dizzy. Gigantos lose two books. Here is something about dragons. It also talks about dragoons, too. We can say that the Serdian War was started from the dragoon spirit that was brought by Lloyd. Let's split up and look. Let's just do it. I, have, I guess I have to use my brain for the first time in a long time. Can Congo read human words? If Rose were here, she would tell us a lot. They will be back when they finish their errands. But we have to, we have to do what we can do now. And Flash... Oh no, no. You gotta read first. It is about Winglies, I guess. You guess? Kongo cannot read human characters. Kongo looks pictures. Let me read it. Winglies are people with wings of light who employ magical power. They had their glory 11,000 years ago, and it had enormous magical power that could float colossal cities. City floats. Yes, it is unimaginable in this current world. They became extinct after the war with humans who were seeking their liberation. But Linus, who was a wingly, was alive. Besides, us dragoons were, are supposed to be only a legend. A legend does not necessarily tell the truth. Take a look at this picture. Humans and dragons. No, dragoons and dragons. And what is this? Virage manipulated by winglies. So, talking about the dragon campaign. Shauna, did you find out something? This book is talking about divine moon objects, but they are just divine objects from a legend to begin with. There are no details. If we can find out the meaning of the di divine moon objects, we, we think we can find out what Lloyd wants. Okay, let me read the part I found. After the Dragon Campaign, humans controlled the continent of Endinus and divided their continent into four and established three new countries. To the east, Sertio. To the south, Tiberoa. To the north, Mille Susea, And to the west of the continent, the untouched land, 
the Death Frontier. Each country shared three divine objects inherited from the Winglies as proof of their alliance. The divine moon objects are said to conceal magical power, however, their usage is unknown. Usage is unknown? Hmm. The, his mystery must be hidden in there. I will look into it more. There's Hashel up there. This book talks about dragoons. The Dragoons from Legend? Yes, it is. The Heroes of the Dragon Campaign. According to this, we are the first new Dragoons to come along since that time. Maybe. Dragoons are to be called when history requires them. When history requires them. Is that now? Lavitz was a Dragoon, and Graham, and Dole, and Linus too. Were their deaths necessary? That is what only history can tell. I, of course, don't know. However, it all started out from the Dragoon spirit that Lloyd brought. If Lloyd is a part of history, that is necessary. Then our journey seems to be dragged along by his fate. In spite of the fact that they were humans, the seven heroes who led the Dragon Campaign to victory 11,000 years ago crossed the sky and cast spells. After they fulfilled their roles, they vanished with the Dragoon spirits as if it were some unavoidable fate. The, this legend seems to be telling us that the, after this journey, we will vanish. This, this seems a marvelous place. Seems all the wisdom that humans can possibly know is here. I'm reading a book on politics now. This is very... Can you do politics after we take care of Lloyd? Yes, indeed. Now, let me read the portion that talks about dragons. According to this, dragons are the second most powerful species of all 107 creatures given life by the Divine Tree. Their attacks and life power overwhelm others. However, the creator Soa created a balance by reducing the dragon's intelligence. Therefore, they, they, were, to become they were to be controlled by humans with their wisdom. During the dragon campaign 11,000 years ago, they had fierce battles against virages manipulated by winglies and couldn't avoid being annihilated. But, there weren't, but they weren't anni annihilated like the book says. True, and again, they are ruled by the Dragoons. I'll look more for more. Hmm, hmm. It led to the Dragon Campaign. What do you... Hmm, hmm. It led to the Dragon Campaign. Hmm, hmm. What do you need? Are you acting superior again? Of course, I am superior. I prefer being, hit with, being a hit with girls who are feeling superior. I don't care about those things. It seems you are interested in the Dragon Campaign. Winglies, Divine Moon Objects, Dragons, and Dragoons, these all had something to do with the Dragon Campaign. Then Lloyd has something to do with the Dragon Campaign. The Dragon Campaign is my specialty. Maybe I can be of assistance. Tell me. We only know fragments. I see. This is the legend of the Dragon Campaign that I know. And another badass cutscene. There were seven Dragoon warriors in the legend of the Dragon Campaign. Dragoons, reputed to be the incarnation of dragons. With dragons at their side, the Dragoons fought boldly. However, in the age when the legend was reality, the Winglies dominated all, even the gods. The gods answered to dictator Melbu Frama's prayers and granted him ultimate power. But the power oh, was shit. abused. The earth of Saint Imperial Gloriano was scorched by the gods' fire and became ashen. The anger and sadness of the people was fuel for the Dragoon's cause. Then at last they freed the gods. Without the gods' power, the Winglies perished, and our age, the Human Age, began. Thereafter, the gods floated in the sky. For 11,000 years, they have been looking over the world as the moon that never sets.
Cool. That is the story. Did you find out something related to Lloyd? Oh well, that's unfortunate. You are already here, so you might as well check the reference room upstairs. Are there more books? No, it contains the historical material of Mele Suzea. For other people, it may seem to be mere trash. However, for our country, they are all historical objects. This is something left by the Black Monster that brought an inferno down on this country. The Black Monster? It, is al it has already been 18 years. It's surprising a young man like you knows about it. I was born in Neat. God, you are a survivor from the village? Talk to me, man. This is the stained glass of the church in Neat. Do you remember seeing this? Yes, faintly, but I do remember. It was really a monster. These are the only things that survived the Black Flame. Do you know anything about what happened to Neat back then? Any survivors or... I know only one. Who is that? The second sacred sister of Mele Suzea. Sister Luana. It seems you don't know her. However, I can tell you a little about the Black Monster. There is a legend about the Black Monster and the Moon Child. Would you like to hear it? Yes, please. It is ironic, but... The people who visit the church in Neat pray for their own happiness by looking at this stained glass which shows the legend of the Black Monster and the Moon Child. Another badass cutscene. Why did the gods create him? The Black Monster. He appears in various legends as a demon who rebels against and devours the gods. An evil plague that rejects peace in the world. The god that is the moon that never sets. The moon that never sets glows red every 108 years. It is a sign that a herald will be sent to Earth. The herald is known to us as the Moon Child. The legend says the Moon Child revives the gods on Earth and purifies the world. The black monster abhors, hates, and despises it, and kills the Moon Child. This sad karma is endless. This god stays forever in the sky, and the world is in never-ending chaos. Odd pictures. Pretty cool shit. So how many cutscenes is that? Meanwhile, the neat. So that's where she had to go. Nothing has changed. Am I hesitating? It's silly. Mother. I am back. Mother, it's been a while, since the tragic day I lost my sight. I am able to see today thanks to the love of many people like Seti, Seti here. May the Divine Tree bless all the victims of the tragedy. Who is it? 
I didn't mean to surprise you. You are? Just a traveler. Please don't be alarmed. Wow, they're not very good guards. There are people with meat, and my mother sleeping here. Are you here to visit the grave too? I guess so. Then you know about meat. Neat, 18 years ago. Where is Princess Luvia? I will never tell you! I, I can't see. Mom, I'm scared. Don't come! Where is Princess Luvia? Where did you hide the moon child? We don't know! What kind of spitefulness do you have towards our village? You want to die with your daughter? Mom, I'm scared. Princess Luvia left for the sea. This must be enough to satisfy you. Now leave this village. The chance to eliminate the moon child comes only once every 108 years. It's the time of birth when the moon glows a blood color. The newly born moon child has a magic power. That power, magic power changes everyone around it into an evangelist for the god. A servant to help prepare for the descending of the god. Ah. Uh. My objectives will not be satisfied until I kill every single person who is present at the moon child as the moon child passed through. Mom, answer me. It's hot, it's burning, Mom! Mom? It was a miracle that I survived. I see. Then you were blinded back then. Yes. However, the god imparted me with something else. Sister Luana can see people's souls, but she can feel their pain, too. Because of this, Sister Luana has suffered. Now I can appreciate this power that I have, because it allows me to heal the pain in people's hearts. If you need to heal the pain in your heart, please tell me. I can help you. That's not necessary. By the way, are you done? Yes, I will go back to Denigrad soon. May I join you? Even if you are with knights, the forest is filled with dangerous monsters. I can protect you from them. I see. Then I'll ask you to come with us. The knights are like, who the fuck is this chick? <laughs> All right. Home of Meru. It's been a long time. I wonder if everybody is doing all right. I wonder if they feel lonely without me. Wow! Hey, watch out! Who is this coming through the boundary? Who are you not knowing me? Meru? Is that you, Meru? Guara... Guaraha? Guaraha! Okay. That's a wingly. Long time no see! You look great! Do you think I am really great? How could you leave without telling me? Where have you been? Hey, I came all the way back here. You don't need to yell at me. Aren't you happy to see me? I'm very happy to see you. But leaving the forest is taboo. You left the forest, so I don't know if everyone else in the forest will forgive you, Meru. Who cares about taboos? 
everybody in this forest, and the humans outside, both of us are living in the same world. How come we have to draw a line and lock ourselves in like this? That's what I want to know. I've been living in this forest forever. I wish I knew. I'm going to ask the ancestor. I won't ask you anymore. Sir, there we go. Zoop. All right, I'm I know I'm like 5 6 minutes over time, but I'm going to finish up these this section. And everyone's winglies. I take it that means I'm home. Oops, it seems I'm not welcome. It's Meru. Meru's back. This is my home. I can come home anytime. Such selfishness is not tolerated. There's no place to come home to, Meru. But that's true. You are the black sheep of the proud Winglies. How dare you shamelessly come back? I thought you were satisfied with your decadent human life, weren't you? Bardell, what are you talking about? Go back to the humans. And wait there for the moment we destroy the humans. Stop it! The Ancestor! You left the forest on your own violation. Or volition. How come you came back? I just wanted to see everybody. Leaving the forest is an unforgivable mortal sin. Didn't you know that when you left for the world of humans? As well as that, you could never come back here. Yes, I did, but it's strange. The world is 100 times bigger than this forest. There are, of course, bad humans, but there are many good humans, too. You never meet them, and you shouldn't hate them. There are people who hate and detest humans just because they are humans. But their number is few. We just want to protect our life. That's all. Humans have always been afraid of the magic power of Winglies. The fear eventually turns itself into a need to tyrannize us and take some action, either to subjugate or kill Winglies. That's why we need our own world, like this forest where humans cannot enter. Go back to the other world. Your existence angers the others. I understand. I'll leave. Meru! Mother! Leave the girl alone. Father, you must be kidding! That's the rule. We're going. Mother, father, it must be hard for you, but you must go back, Meru. Get out of our forest at once! Guara go Oh my goodness, why such hard names? Guaraha! What are you doing? Quiet. I want to talk between just the two of us. It seems you received a horrible welcome. It's nothing to me. Stop talking tough. Meru, it was just bad timing. Everybody's feeling tense lately. Is that my fault too? No. Recently the earth is surging. Don't you feel it, Meru? I've been feeling it a little. The animals in the forest are acting savage. This must be the cause, but what is this? Ancestor Blano said that it is an omen of a dragon coming back to life. It is not the usual one. Even our ancestors, who had much stronger magic power, couldn't defeat it. What, what kind of dragon is that? It's the strongest dragon of all. The king of dragons, with seven magical eyes. The Divine Dragon. The Divine Dragon? The Ancestor says that the seal is half-dissolved. 
That's why everybody's nervous. But, but, we have a Dragon Buster and a Dragon Block Staff, don't we? The sword for killing dragons, the Dragon Buster, has been lost. It, it wasn't me! We know, because it was hidden with the staff in a place that only the Ancestor could open. And the talk you wanted to, between the, just the two of us is about the dragon? That too. But what I really wanted to tell you is something else. Meru, don't leave me! I want you to be at my side. I can protect you if everybody opposes you. You're kind, as always. But if you do, you will be hated as well. I gotta go. Everybody's waiting for me. You have friends. They're all cool. They show me and teach me many things. Ciao! Meru! And another cutscene. That's, I think, four, maybe five in this episode. Cutscene City. Lava explosions! Yeah, manly things! Oh, shit. It's awake. Is this the divine dragon? Oh, shit. Oh, oh, shit. Black screen. What are you going to do? Are you going to pursue that man, Lloyd? When you get time, go visit Neat. You cannot change the past, however. You can face it. By facing it, maybe you can find out where you are from, and where you want to go. I guess he wasn't just a snob. <laughs> well, we have to wait for Rose and Mayru. Huh? Is anything wrong? N no I just felt a little shiver, that's all. I feel something is wrong. Alright, so way over time, I know, but I wanted to finish up those sections in one episode. So, I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, pound the like button, pound that subscribe button, and I will see all of you in the next episode. Bye bye now.